we know that 20% of programmers own pets and 23% of marketers own pets. We can express both of these percentages as fractions to make our math a little easier. So the number of programmers that own pets as a fraction is 20 out of every 100. And for marketers, it's going to be 23 out of 100. Now 20 out of 100 reduces to one over five, meaning one out of every five programmers own pets. However, 23 is a prime number, meaning we cannot reduce 23 over 100 in any further to any other fraction. This means that 23 out of every 100 marketers owns pets. In other words, there's at least 100 marketers on the team. That is because we can't have a fraction of a person. Because we know there's only 200 total employees and we can't have zero number of employees, we know that there has to be 100 total marketers because our only other option would be 200, which would leave us no employees left to represent our programmers. If there are 100 total marketers, that means there has to also be 100 total programmers to equal the the total 200 employees at the company. Now this makes our math easy because we can take 23% of our marketers to determine that 23 marketers own pets and we can take 20% of our programmers and we know that 20 programmers own pets. That means there's a total of 43 employees that own pets and that is our value for column a. That means then that column A and column B are both equal to one another and C is the correct answer choice.